like I was saying before my camera cut out and the ones way in the back are called um, orange oxide um, so those are pretty cool um, these papaya cloves are getting pretty big and awesome looking and you can see my little firefish down there now I also got I don't know if I'm going to be able to find them but I also got a, another little yellow clown goby oh there he is under the rock there under the torch he's tiny tiny but uh, hopefully he grows and I've also picked up um, a green clown goby which is actually blue um, which is awesome he looks great he's super blue um, but you know it's kind of a rarity sometimes to, to find blue green clown gobies um, so and here's my blenny head poking out of the rock there he's pretty neat he's always uh, hanging around that's a tail spot blenny for anybody wondering and uh, yeah so that's kind of uh, my tank right now uh, actually planning on an upgrade which will be a 20 long um, still an all-in-one but uh, I'm gonna put extra room in there to fit a skimmer and other essentials that uh, I've been kind of avoiding up until now which you know in a 10 gallon it's not too bad in a 20 gallon I might eventually need to uh, to add that kind of gear so planning ahead and uh, yeah um, otherwise uh, I've kind of been dealing with a little bit of cyano or whatever you call that um, green stuff um, just a little bit I gotta siphon my sand out better next time I do a clean next time I do a water change um, what else what else Lighting I've been messing with quite a bit. I was trying to get my... Um, I don't even see it in there. My Ultra Citrus Redactus um, to be happy. And supposedly they need very low light. And so I was messing with my lighting and with LEDs you can mess with your lighting so much that you know, you try to make one coral happy and the rest of your tank kind of suffers. So I've slowly been adjusting my tank back to where it was. Um, it's still a little darker than it used to be, but uh, you know, uh, I'm adjusting and seeing where it's at and going from there. I'm not gonna worry about the torch or the hammer that is dying or about that Redactus. Um, I've tried to put the Rodactus in the darkest spot I can and you know I'm watching it if it gets if it bleaches then you know I'll, I'll move it or whatever I'll I'll deal with it but anyways so this is part two of one video I'm not sure why I cut out but anyways that's my update sorry I've been uh, away for so long but uh, you know this is just a casual thing I'm doing videos etc so and uh, yeah, so I hope you like my tank and my video and subscribe and like and comment and, and all that.